Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to travel Ireland on a budget. Ireland is a beautiful country with stunning scenery, rich history, and friendly people. But it can also be quite expensive, especially if you don't plan ahead. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can save money on flights, accommodation, transportation, food, and activities, and still have an amazing time in the Emerald Isle. First of all, let's talk about flights. Getting to Ireland can take a big chunk out of your budget, especially if you're coming from outside Europe. But there are ways to find cheap flights if you're flexible and willing to do some research. One option is to use a low-cost airline like Ryanair or EasyJet, which often have deals and discounts for flights within Europe. You can also use websites like Skyscanner or Google Flights to compare prices and dates and set up alerts for when fares drop. Another tip is to fly into smaller airports like Shannon or Cork instead of Dublin, which can sometimes be cheaper and less crowded. Next up is accommodation. Ireland has a lot of options for places to stay, from hotels and B&Bs to hostels and Airbnbs. But depending on the season and location, they can also be quite pricey. So how can you save money on accommodation in Ireland? One way is to book in advance and use websites like Booking.com or Hostel World to find the best deals and reviews. You can also look for hostels or Airbnbs that offer free breakfast, kitchen facilities, or laundry services, which can help you save on food and other expenses. Another way is to camp or couch surf, which are the cheapest options but also require more preparation and flexibility. Camping in Ireland is only allowed with the permission of the landowner, so make sure you do your research before pitching your tent. Couch surfing is a great way to meet locals and get insider tips, but you also need to be respectful and safe when staying with strangers. Moving on to transportation. Ireland is a relatively small country, but getting around can be tricky if you don't have a car. Renting a car in Ireland can be expensive and stressful, especially if you're not used to driving on the left side of the road or navigating narrow country lanes. But there are other ways to explore Ireland without a car, such as buses, trains, trams, or bikes. Buses are the cheapest and most frequent option, but they can also be slow and unreliable at times. Trains are faster and more comfortable, but they are also more expensive and don't cover all parts of the country. Trams are only available in Dublin and are useful for getting around the city center, but they can also be crowded and limited in scope. Bikes are a great way to enjoy the scenery and exercise at the same time, but they also require more energy and equipment. So what's the best way to travel around Ireland on a budget? It depends on your preferences, itinerary, and time frame. But here are some tips that can help you make the most out of your transportation options. Use websites like Bus Arian or Irish Rail to check timetables, routes, and prices, and book online or in advance if possible. Use apps like Google Maps or Rome to Rio to plan your journey and find the best mode of transport for your destination. Use discount cards like Leap Card or Student Travel Card to save money on public transport fares. Use bike rental schemes like Dublin Bikes or Cork Bike Scheme to rent a bike for a short period of time for a small fee. Use carpooling services like Blah Blah Car or Hitchhike Ireland to share a ride with other travelers or locals for a fraction of the cost. Finally, let's talk about food and activities. Ireland has a lot of delicious food and drinks to offer, from traditional dishes like Irish stew or soda bread to modern cuisine like seafood or vegan options. But eating out in Ireland can also be costly, especially in touristy areas or big cities. So how can you save money on food in Ireland? One way is to cook your own meals if you have access to a kitchen in your accommodation. You can buy groceries from supermarkets like Tesco or Aldi, which are cheaper than convenience stores or markets. You can also look for deals or discounts in restaurants or pubs during lunchtime or happy hour, which can sometimes include a drink as well. Another way is to eat street food or snacks from vendors or stalls, which can be cheaper and more authentic than restaurants. Some examples of street food in Ireland are fish and chips, hot dogs, or ice cream. As for activities, 
Ireland has a lot to offer for every type of traveler, from cultural and historical attractions to natural and outdoor adventures. But some of these activities can also be pricey, especially if they require admission fees or equipment rentals. So how can you save money on activities in Ireland? One way is to look for free or cheap things to do, such as visiting museums, galleries, or churches, which are often free or have a donation-based entry. You can also explore parks, gardens, or beaches, which are free and beautiful all year round. Another way is to look for discounts or coupons for attractions or tours, which you can find online, in brochures, or at tourist information centers. You can also join free walking tours or pub crawls, which are a great way to learn about the history and culture of a place and meet other travelers. Some examples of free or cheap things to do in Ireland are see the Book of Kells and the Long Room at Trinity College in Dublin, which costs 18.5 euros for adults and 15 euros for students and seniors. Visit the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin, which costs 26 euros for adults and 22 euros for students and seniors, and includes a free pint of Guinness at the end. Admire the Cliffs of Moher in County Clare, which costs 7 to 10 euros for adults and 7 to 9 euros for students and seniors, and offers stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean. Hike the Wicklow Mountains National Park in County Wicklow, which is free to enter and has many trails and scenic spots to enjoy. Experience the nightlife in Galway, which is known for its lively pubs, music, and festivals. Another helpful tip for saving money on your trip to Ireland is to consider traveling during the off-peak season. Due to the popularity of Ireland as a summer destination, prices for flights, accommodations, and attractions can skyrocket during the warmer months. However, if you plan your trip between the months of October and April, also known as the off-peak season, you can save big on your travel expenses. This is a great way to experience Ireland's beautiful landscapes, charming towns, and historic sites without breaking the bank. So be sure to keep this in mind when planning your next trip to the Emerald Isle. So there you have it, some tips and tricks on how to travel Ireland on a budget. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. And let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions about traveling in Ireland. Thanks for watching and see you next time.